Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on modelling with trigonometry and R sine R cos. Here is the exam question. Part A, express 3 cos x plus sine x in the form R cos x minus alpha, where R and alpha are constants, R is greater than 0, alpha is between 0 and pi over 2. Give the exact value of R and the value of alpha in radians to 3 decimal places. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. The very first step is to set the 3 cos x plus sine x equal to r cos x minus alpha. So we've got 3 cos x plus sine x equal r cos x minus alpha. Now we're going to expand r cos x minus alpha using the formula for cos a minus b, which is equal cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. So I've got r cos x cos alpha plus r sine x sine alpha. My next step is to swap these two terms and swap these two terms. So I've got r cos alpha cos x plus r sine alpha sine x. Now I'm going to be comparing the coefficient of cos x and sine x on the left and the right hand side. So on the left hand side the coefficient of cos x is 3 and on the right hand side the coefficient of cos x is r cos alpha. On the left hand side the coefficient of sine x is technically 1 and on the right hand side the coefficient of sine x is r sine alpha. So if I look at the coefficients of sine x I can see that the r sine alpha must equal 1. So r sine alpha equal 1. If I look at the cos x, the coefficient of cos x, I can see that r cos alpha, ladies and gents, must equal 3. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. My next step is to take equation 1 and divide it by equation 2. So I've got equation 1 divided by equation 2. This in turn gives me r sine alpha over r cos alpha equal 1 over 3. The r's cancel out and we know that sine alpha over cos alpha is tan alpha so we've got tan alpha equal a third. Hence, alpha is equal tan inverse of a third. Making sure my calculator is on radian mode, if I put this into the calculator, I get precisely 0 0.322 to three decimal places. Now I'm going to work out the exact value for r. So r is given by square root coefficient of cos x, which is 3 squared plus coefficient of sine x, which is 1. So 1 squared. If I put this into my calculator, I get precisely r equal square root 10. Now, I'm going to put the icing on the cake. Therefore, I can conclude that 3 cos x plus sine x is equivalent to writing square root 10 cos x minus the alpha, which is 0 0.322. And that day, ladies and gents, completes part A of the exam question. Moving on to part B of the question. The temperature theta degree Celsius inside a rabbit hole on a particular day is modelled by the equation theta equals 6.5 plus 3 cos pi t over 13 minus 4 plus sine pi t over 13 minus 4, where t is between 0 and 24, including the 0, excluding the 24, where t is the number of hours after midnight. Okay, so the model begins at midnight, which is 12 a.m. Part B, part 1, deduce the minimum value of theta during this day. Please pause the video, have a go at part B, part 1. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B, part 1. So we've got part B, part 1. The very first step is to rewrite the given model using your answer to part A. So we've got theta equals 6.5 plus 3 cos pi t over 13 minus 4 plus sine pi t over 13 minus 4. Now we're going to make a comparison. We are going to compare this with this. Notice that both of them have a 3 cos plus sine. The only difference is we are replacing the x's with pi t over 13 minus 4. So if this is equal to this, Ladies and gents, it implies that this over here is precisely equal to this, but we're going to be replacing the x with pi t over 13 minus 4. 
So we can rewrite the model as 6.5 plus square root 10 cos replace the x with pi t over 13 minus 4. And then we've got the minus 0 0.322. This in turn is equal to 6.5 plus root 10 cos pi t over 13 minus 4.322. Okay, now our target is to deduce the minimum value of theta during this state. Right, now to work out the minimum value of theta, we need to go back to cosine. There are three possible options. We can take one, zero, or minus one. In this scenario, we are trying to minimize theta. So the value of cosine that we must take on is the negative one. So theta minimum will occur when the cosine is precisely negative one. So root 10 multiplied by minus one. This gives me 6.5 minus root 10. And that there, ladies and gents, is the minimum value of theta during this state. Moving on to part B, part two of the exam, question. Find the time of day when this minimum value occurs, giving your answer to the nearest minute. Now we know that theta minimum occurs when the entire cosine is equal to negative one. So the theta minimum is equal to 6.5 minus root 10. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part B, part two of the exam question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B, part two of the exam question. We know that theta min occurs when cos pi t over 13 minus 4.322 is equal to minus one. Now, before we solve for t, we have to transform the interval for t. So we know that t is more than or equal to zero, but less than 24. We want to transform the t into a pi t over 13 minus 4.322. The very first step is to multiply the entire interval by pi over 13. So if I do this, this becomes zero, this becomes pi t over 13, and this becomes 24 pi over 13. The next step is to subtract the entire interval by 4.322, giving me minus 4.322, so the zero becomes minus 4.322, less than or equal to pi t over 13 minus 4.322, less than, so if I take 24 pi over 13 and I subtract 4.322, I get 1.478 to three decimal places. Okay, now I'm going to let capital X equal pi t over 13 minus 4.322. Okay, so I can replace this middle expression with capital X. So capital X is more than or equal to minus 4.322, but is less than 1.478. So that is my interval for capital X. And I'm trying to solve cos, I can replace this whole thing with X. So cos X equal negative one. Right, now over here I can draw the graph of cos X. So here is my graph. So I've got pi over two here, and I've got minus pi over two here, and over here, and over here, I've got pi and minus pi. Right, so cos x is equal negative one for x equal minus pi or x equal pi. Okay, minus pi is minus 3.14 and pi is 3.14. The upper limit of the interval is 1.478. So we have to reject pi. That's not within the interval. The lower limit of the interval is minus 4.322. So minus pi is minus 3.14, which is in the given interval. So we have to accept this as our solution for capital X. Now we can replace the capital X with pi t over 13 minus 4.322. So we've got pi t over 13 minus 4.322. This must equal minus pi. 
So now we just rearrange to work out t. So t will equal minus pi plus 4.322 all over pi over 13, which is equal to 4.88 to two decimal places. So we're looking at 4.88 hours. Now we're going to change this into hours and minutes. So 4.88 hours is equivalent to writing four hours plus 0 0.88 hours. So we can take that 0 0.88 and we can multiply it by 60 in order to convert it into minutes. Hence we have four hours plus 53 minutes. Now remember, the model begins at midnight. So we start at 12 a.m. and we're going to add on four hours, 53 minutes. So when does the theta minimum occur? Well, the theta minimum occurs at 4.53 a.m. That there is the time when the theta minimum occurs. This completes part B, part two of the exam question. Let's have a look at the final part of the exam question. Find the rate of temperature increase in the rabbit hole at midday. Now the key word is rate, which indicates a differential. That's my hint. Now please pause the video, have a go at part C. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part C of the exam question. Okay, so we're looking at part C. Find the rate of temperature increase. So we're trying to calculate d theta over dt. Now remember, theta represents the temperature in this model. In the rabbit hole at midday. So the model begins at midnight. So at midday, we're looking at 12 hours after midnight. So we're trying to calculate d theta over dt when t is equal 12. That is our target. So we've got the model for theta. We know that theta is equal 6.5 plus root 10 cos pi t over 13 minus 4.322. We're going to differentiate theta with respect to t. So the 6.5 is a constant that differentiates to zero. A cosine differentiates to a negative sign. So we've got minus root 10 sine pi t over 13 minus 4.322 multiplied by the derivative of what we have inside the sign. So the pi t over 13 differentiates to pi over 13 with respect to t and the minus 4.322 differentiates to zero. So that there's a derivative of what we have inside the sign. Let's clean this up. So we've got d theta over dt is equal minus root 10 pi over 13 sine pi t over 13 minus 4.322. Now we can substitute t equal 12 into d theta over dt. So d theta over dt, substitute t equal 12, you would get 0 0.75 six degrees celsius per hour that's the answer to three significant figures ladies and gents this completes the exam question and this teaching video pure mathematics exam question on modeling with trigonometry and r sine r cos if you found the teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post a new teaching video